Okay, we're back with another painting video, this time Solomon Kane by Mythic Games and the man himself, the Puritan Solomon Kane. Now I uh, primed Solomon with Wraithbone Spray as per normal, finishing off my Wraithbone with the Shadows, the Child and for the Four Virtues and Providence. So that's all I'm going to be painting for now on until I get another can of Wraithbone Spray. Um, but that's plenty to get on with. I've also got Kingpin from Marvel Crisis Protocol as well to get on with. So, Citadel colour contrast paints, uh, as per usual. I'm going to go on with those. And I'm going to see how we go with Solomon Kane and see see if we can give it some kind of slightly darker tones rather than uh, the bright tones we've been used to with Super Fancy Brawl. Okay, so I'm going to start with the skin first. It's quite relatively pale, so Gillum and Flesh would be a good start. So Gilliam and Flesh. Using my size zero Winsor & Newton as per normal. That's gonna be annoying if I keep hitting that. Hopefully it won't. And we're gonna start with the face of course. Now the uh, spray has naturally given it a kind of, some shading already, which is nice, which is cool. Uh, just check that, is that hair, just hair? There's a bit of skin there as well, on the face. Beautiful, these are, now these are what we call Gorgeous models. These are the these are the best miniatures that Mythic have done. Uh, although Super Fancy Brawl will always hold a place in my heart, but just look at the detail on these miniatures. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and as always, uh, no problem with the paint going on. It was li it's literally the only one. Is Black Rose Wars real shame? Because that did mar the experience for me. And effectively, it's, it's stopped me painting them uh, because of that. Um, I do need to get the Dettel out and or get some Dettel anyway uh, to to um, to paint that, to start painting them again because they're such great miniatures. But I just you know you can't paint you can't just can't paint them until you've you've you got rid of all the residue using a strong solvent, which is ridiculous. Never come across that before. So really annoyed about that, to be completely honest, which is a real shame because, you know, I was starting painting those, really enjoying it. Uh, good community there as well. But I've just had to leave that behind now. And now Solomon Kane's here. Um, <laughs> this is going to be taking over my painting series now. Uh, painting up Solomon Kane. I'm just trying to yeah, get in there a little bit. Not the easiest thing to get hold of. Right, there's the skin tone done then. So the hands and the face. Nice pale face, that's good. Maybe, maybe a bit more definition, just go over again. Just want to get some... Yeah, no, that's better. Needed more. And just a... Uh, Take it off that cloak. Just taking off the cloak there. Okay, so that's Gilliam and Flesh. And then we, that, that's light tone. Then we've got Black Templar, Saigal Brown, and Wild Wood. So we're talking about dark colors now. And I think I'm gonna start, actually the Saigal Brown will go over the Black Templar more. So I think I'm gonna start with the Black Templar and then we're gonna take it from that. Now this should give a really nice color. Uh, that kind of bluey black uh, color as it were. So that we start with the band and see how it how it goes on. And then we're gonna do the hat in the cycle brown. So doing the band of the hat now in this in this black. Whoop. That was really 
bad painting. And the buckle will be metal, so I'm just going to go straight over that as well. Oh. Okay, this is the belt. Then um, let's go in with the trousers. So the trousers with the, the black as well. Now, I haven't painted for quite some time. Well, I say quite some time, for a few weeks. Um, and this brush, I think, is starting to lose it I, I, again I, I need to look after my brushes better if i want them to last uh it's done it's done well i've painted all of super fancy brawl with it and uh black rose wars many others blood rage so it's lasted a good a good amount of painting for the 10 pounds that it was so you know i can't complain too much but it's starting to starting to lose its point uh, and that's probably just because there's still paint up on near the uh, the base of the brush itself. Um, which is just, just not looking after you. You know, you should wash it with um, proper brush soap. Keep it nice and clean every single session. No, just to be honest, I don't. That's, that's bad on my part. But it's been an absolute fantastic. I'm definitely getting these again. Uh, it's been a fantastic brush to use to paint with. And it's still, it's still, it's still fine. It's still, still working fine. Uh, it's just it's on its last kind of legs, I think. And then we need to get into the back of this leg. Love it. So there's the trousers done. And you can see that black is starting to come through already. Um, right, his hair's black. So that's the next job. And again, contrasts, one cut, one coat wonders. Which is all you'll need. Not too fast about getting it on the under brim. I'm just gonna just take away some of it, but you know, a bit of shading on that underground. There's on the brim of the helmet. Helmet? <laughs> brim of the hat doesn't matter too much. Um, as long as we get in the black of the hair. Which is now done. Uh, now the arms are gonna be brown, 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 brown. Mm, or... So, the waistcoat is attached to these arm, and I might go a bit of a mix with that, with the black and the brown. And if we do the brown, brown, cycle brown, cycle brown, cycle brown, not wildwood brown. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm pretty happy with that. And there's, and there's a lot of um, wildwood, maybe for all the, le the leather and the wood. Snake bite leather. Might be a bit too bright, snake bite leather. Uh, is what I'm thinking. So yeah, I think I'm going with Wildwood for pretty much everything else. So uh, let's put the black away. That was a uh, black Templar. Now we're going to hit in with Saigor Brown. This is a very deep brown. I do actually have another brown that I've not actually used once yet. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo, where's the paint pot? 
Nein. Du, du, du. Hm. I thought I had. It's weird. Oh yeah, go fur. But it's, it's gonna be a bit bright, I think. Although it's might go with that for the strapping actually. It just gives some different tones uh, without having to mix the paints. Lazy, you could argue, um, but you know. Now Saigon Brown is lovely deep brown, which is gonna be perfect for Solomon Kane, for a lot of Solomon Kane, I think. Um, darker than the, um, and redder than wild wood, which is fantastic for wood, of course. Uh, yeah, we can just keep going. Oh, these are beautiful miniatures, so detailed. Wowzers. Well, this one, uh, obviously this is my first one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but uh, yeah, these are going to come out really good, hopefully. And again, uh, as with all my painting videos, in real time, so you can see actually how long it takes to paint Solomon Kane using the contrast paints. Uh, lots of people got scale 75 now, and of course that will work exactly the same way. That's the beauty of these new style paints. Time, that precious time that so many of us don't have, uh, saving that with doing one coat wonders. That's the plan, that's the hope. And it and from feedback I've been getting, it sounds like uh, a lot of people, beginners, have been uh, getting the same results as well, which is, which is so good to hear. That's exactly what uh, the whole point of these videos are. So thank you for any any feedback that people have given. Really do appreciate it. So um, I feel very humbled by a lot of the comments which have been uh, posted on social media and the Facebook comments and things like that. Nice brown, nice brown. See, it's, it's not... Now, we could go it to be fair, like, after we've painted our cycle brown, we could go in with some non-oil to, uh, to effectively weather it, make it a little bit darker. If this is too bright, it's a bit too vivid. But you know what? I don't think I mind too much having a little bit vivid in terms of um, the characters. Okay, let's keep going around to the cloak here. Uh, I think it's all of that, isn't it? Hmm. Beautiful detail in these miniatures. In this miniature, I should say. I'm not painting the others yet. Um, is that? Yeah, I think I think I'm happy. Uh, just carrying on with the whole of the uh, cloak. And of course, as always, any kind of style of painted miniature is better than grey plastic. And even if you just uh, just Zenithal highlight or just spray can highlight um, your miniatures, they'll look better than grey plastic. But if you uh, if you have got contrast paints or you're starting out painting for the first time, highly highly recommend. 
contrast paints or, or maybe scale 75 if um if that's the route you've taken now i've got to get in there somehow so uh, i'm gonna have to take it off the uh the holder to do that in fact i might do that now just so i can get into some hard to reach areas Whoa, flying, and um, that's just, no, that's not too bad, actually. Just getting the brush behind uh, the nooks and crannies now. Obviously, he is the main character. You're going to be playing with this miniature all the time. So he is an important one to to take your time on and really focus for. Uh, not that I'm going to spend ages on this miniature, but if there's a one miniature that you are going to spend time on, is it's him and the virtues being, uh, the, whoops, being the most painted of the group. Uh, let's go for the boots next. The same brown. And, and, you know, when you've got the bases that are um, all built and uh, modelled and detailed, it does make it harder to, that you have to dodge those bits or you're going to have to re-prime those bits. Um, people have taken, obviously, the miniatures off the base to, to paint them separately, which is a completely valid re idea. But... Um, I'd rather just try and be a little bit careful if I can. I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of mud on this base anyway, so it's not the end of the world. If I go a little bit over the foot. Okay. First boot done. Now move on to the next one. Oops. Try not to get it over all. That's, that'll be all right. Bit, a little bit of a mud in places is not the worst thing in the world. It's just the skeleton's got a very light tone, obviously. Oop. <laughs> Okay, 
And again, it's just it's just following the exact same techniques as um, as painting any miniature with uh, contrast. It's kind of go light tone to darker tone. This is a slightly different model because most of it is dark tone, of course, um, but with lots of browns and blacks and dark tones. So yeah, so uh, try and go from light to dark because it's easy to go over bits that you've done wrong or having to repaint them. Okay. Now you can see there's slight bits missed on the leg, um, but we can go back over that with the black. It's not the end of the world. Uh, cycle brown, cycle brown, I think. I'm tough time to do the arms in the same brown. No, I am. I'm going to do uh, these in the same brown as well. Now that looks like... That's just folds in the coat. Yep, I'm going to do that. Just gonna... Or else it'll look stupid. I mean, surely the sleeves of the cloak, of the coat, um, are going to be the same colour as the bulk of it, yeah? Uh, so, yeah, that doesn't make sense if they're different. And I'm going to do black sleeves. So that's going to be different. Because I don't want it to be a completely dark brown miniature. <laughs> Full stop. That just look a bit, a bit plain and not very exciting. Yeah. Now in the artwork, Simon Kane's pretty much uh, got black clothes all over, uh, but that would it would look like a ninja, I think, if I did that. So I think rather than doing black all over is get the brown on and then if you have to make it a little bit different is just ch chuck on there with um with some null oil uh, darken the tone oops darken the tone up a bit try to get into that a little bit there. Such such pronounced and gr great detail. It's really hard to get in there. Um, what's that? It's metal as well, I think. A lot of the work's metal work, so that's fine. Uh, and then we'll go in the same with this hat as well. And as the white starts to disappear, he will start to come to life. Because the white is such stark contrast between the browns and the blacks and the dark tones uh, that it will look a bit weird to start with until that's done. Now the other side of the rim of the hat. And all of the miniatures look stunning. So even like the villages and stuff like that. So it's, all, it's hopefully all going to be really fun to paint. Um, I guess I won't do live stream painting for every single miniature. That would be insane. Um, that'd be too much content. Uh, but th the main things I'm going to be uh, f filming and uh, posting on YouTube. 
so it's going to be the virtues of course the ghosts uh, the main characters uh, so i'm going to do skulls and the stars so uh kind of like ezra and that lot when they come around gideon's ghost of course okay so that's the cycle of brown you can always start to see that he's um he's starting to come out pretty good it's against this white background which is probably not helping um the lighting Cycle so Brown put away. And then I think we'll go in with Wildwood, possibly. Let, let's touch up a little bit. So, um, you see this brown that's coming through. It's just, oh, it's just so beautiful. It has those dark tones just naturally just added to it. And it's, it looks just like a dark leather coat, which is what I want for Simon Kane. Uh, we've got the black uh, that we need to do for the uh, wrists, for the sleeves. Um, and we're going to do a waistcoat one. I guess that'd be a. We could do a mix of black and brown, I guess. Yeah, let's do that actually. So I'll get my palette. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the same to the black and the black templar, the cycle brown and black templar. I'm gonna mix those up for waistcoat and sleeves. So uh, two two brushes of black templar, and then one brush of cycle brown. That should give. Just that, just that tint, hopefully. As I say, the brown's got a better pigment than the black. So, so that'll probably come out more brown than black. Um, But hopefully, just give it enough of a difference to look like a sleeve and not just a continuation of the cloak. Hopefully, maybe not. Guess we'll find out. Trying to get in these hard to reach areas without ruining anything that can be ruined. I'll tell you, doing the, um, the metal work could be hard going because of that. Okay, I think um, I guess it's a smaller brush just to do his waistcoat. So we're going to triple zero. This is Army Painter Kalinsky Masterclass version. And it doesn't it doesn't need to be too different to everything else because uh, ultimately it it would be quite similar in tone, the browns and the blacks, which is what uh, Mythic painted theirs like. It was there wasn't tons and tons of different tones in there. Hopefully the straps will be a really stark contrast and just give that break it break it up a little bit into its detail. What's that? That's the coat. I don't know why I didn't. We're going with this. That'd be fine. I've got to finish off uh, this part of his cloak. 
by accident. Okay. Cool. And then a tiny bit in there. Like so. Okay, so that's nearly all of it. I just noticed there's paint missing from that part. Mm. And is that the gun? Yeah. Well, there's not much I can do about the gun. Um, okay. Right, it's going on to the scabbard. And we're going to go in with wildwood now. So this is a slightly lighter brown than the... It really is just wood coloured. Size zero for the scabbard, and just um, you see there the difference in the tone. Try and make sure I get all those bits. Looks fine. Just get in that little corner there. Awesome. So that's a slightly different brown, you can see there. And then we need to do the pistols and stuff. So let's go in with the smaller brush again uh, with this wild wood. And we're going to do. Oh, the pistols next. Now there's there's some metal work on those pistols, uh, but that's fine. We'll try and match them so that we uh, know what we're doing. Uh, next browns, 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 browns of the gun. <clears throat> I'm trying not to paint over everything, even though I'm going to go over with lead belcher in a bit to do all the metal work. I'm trying not to ruin it completely so I know exactly where I'm putting this, this metal. Now that holster could we do with Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Do no. So you see, I'm. Um, Try it, again. It doesn't matter because the lead belt will just go straight over this. Uh, but just trying to do it first time, so it's so it's not too bad. In fact, I don't know why I'm using such a thin brush for this because, to be honest, lead belt going straight over it. It would be easier just to. Use the bigger brush and not worry too much about it. Um, then the handle will be this brown. Oh, wait a minute. I just go over his fingers, didn't I? Um, I'm trying to see a uh, detailing. No, I think. Don't want white anywhere. There we go. 
Oh, wow. Try and be careful of your uh, miniature while you're handling it. I think that's all the, it's the pistols done the browns. Oh, wow, well, I've got a whole part of that. So let's make sure we are covering the sleeve. Yeah, tiny bit there as well. Okay, sleeve's done better. And sometimes when you're going round, uh, you realize, ah, oh, I've completely forgotten how to do that. Okay, awesome. While we're done, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to touch that up. I'm not happy with the, the holster for the pistol, so a bit of the wraith bone. I'm sorry, this, this was wild wood I was just using, just in case you were wondering. So we're just bringing back this detail here. That's fine, I think. Okay, that's better. Wraithbone base is really important to have, especially if you're using the Wraithbone um, spray, just to touch up anything that you, you wish you hadn't gone over, should we say. Uh, oh, there's a snake in there. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> little details. Okay, obviously the metal work to go, of course. But I don't think we'll need the Dawn Oil. I think he'll come out fine. So we've got a lot of metal work to do. And now we've got the browns of the uh, strapping to do, which we're going to try and do in... I've already... Ah, Gorgantia, Gorgrunter fur. First time using this paint. So this will be... Be interested to see what this looks like. Let's move this. Is that going to be too bright and too orange? Wow, that is. Mm, no, don't like it. <laughs> too orange. Too orange for uh, my liking. Um, yeah, no, 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 not this, not this time. Uh, so let's put that one back. <laughs> and uh, maybe go with snake bite leather, although that's, it is leather. So yeah, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go with snake bite leather. That is better. So still, still lighter in tone, which is what we wanted, but um, not orange. <laughs> that white base will have now dried. Doesn't take long. Uh, 
that strap in or is that a metal? What is that? I'm trying to look on just above the pistol there on his. No, I think it's fine. I'm just noticing just a little bit of missing there. So I'm just going to go in with this. Don't want any white showing by the end of this. Okay, I think we are good. Cool. So that was the snake bite leather. Contrast paint. Okay, and we, now we've got some metal work to really think about uh, with our Solomon cane. But he's starting to come along now. It's really starting to come out now, which is cool. And the metal work will, honestly, it will make it finalised. Having white bits all around is really not good. <laughs> so should we just go straight on to the lead belcher? Which is a base paint. Any silver paint, of course, will do. We're at 41 minutes. Okay, 41 minutes with the paint job. So this will take a little, little time. It always does. Water it down slightly, help it flow. And with a lot of paint on that on this brush, I'm just gonna go straight in with the sword. Now we're uh, putting all the metal work in. Obviously being careful not to ruin any of the work that we spent ages doing. Well, I say ages. That we've done. <laughs> Wasn't ages, let's be honest. positions a lot of these Obviously areas that have got different, so like golds or it's got different tones, which I'm going to hopefully do on a lot of these. Um, you can just really just pile in with the lead belt shirt and let the contrast works do, contrast paints do all the work for you. So think of this as a base coat, hence why it's called base. Um, and then we're going to go over it with the contrast paints to get those Different shades of tone. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine.
and already really starting to come together now. Now, now we're getting this metal on. Obviously the basin he's doing, uh, which I will do on this on this l painting stream. Stream, I guess, yeah, it's not live, but it's real time stream, I guess you can call it. I need to get some more paint in there. Some white show in there, I'm not happy about that. That's something we can sort out. Right, let's go to a smaller brush. Try and do some of the detail work. I don't really want to get metal over the bits we've painted, as I said before. Yeah, it wouldn't really look very good. I'm just picking out the buckles and uh, just to start to make Solomon Kane look a little bit more than just a bunch of brown. Uh, these little things here. Stop calling it a helmet, it's not a helmet, obviously. There's some kind of buckle in there somewhere. I'm just trying to look at the detail. My eyes are struggling. There we go. I've missed out a whole bit of his toe as well. Uh, some certainly some bits to touch up. There's a bit there as well. <laughs> okay, uh, now I need to get in there somehow. There we go. Cool. Simon Kane's got his um, metalwork now based. So let's get in with that black and just touch up a few of the black areas. And we might have to do a bit with the um, the brown as well. So I'm just gonna. Bits that I've just. Somehow the paint's missed. Try not to make it too obvious. But like I say, it doesn't really matter too much because, you know, it, there won't be uniformly uh, coloured like that. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Where, where else was it? it was uh, corners? Oh, yeah. Browns. So, Cycle Brown near the, near the holster. So I go brown. I'm 
we go. And you'll notice little bits to touch up as you as you go along. Right, so I think it makes sense while waiting for that silver to dry to get on with the base. So a bit of skeleton hoard to start with. For the skeleton the skeletons on the base. It's got a bit of a brown. I don't mind too much, as I said. You know, if I re if it if I really don't like it afterwards, I can always go in with the uh, the wraith bone base and kind of try and sort it back out again. Again, not easy to get to bits of the base. Um, okay, that's the bone. Well, the ground itself, I might just go in with the silicon and grey. Just have a little look at some of the artwork here. Like moss green, yeah, a bit moss green there as well. Okay, um, okay, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Uh, I think I'll use the same. Uh, that definitely needs some wraith bone base. There's a blatant splash over there. That looked terrible. So that needs doing. Okay, uh, so I think we'll go in with that Militarian, Militarian Green for the moss. And then we'll go Basilicon and Grey for everything else. Perhaps should go in with the Grey first. Trying to be relatively careful here because with the the base is so well detailed, it'd be a shame to ruin that. Right, again, it's not easy to really get in these parts. It's great to have the art book to reference how they mythic painted. I'm just going to do that actually, and then just do the. I'm going to be doing some some nice bright blood pools. Yeah, whoops. Uh, this is. I'll tell you what. I'm telling you what. This is so much fun to paint. It actually reminds me of Marvel Crisis Protocol in terms of the detailing. Not quite the same standard, 
Um, MCP is is proper Games Workshop style standard of um, miniatures, but for pre-assembled, my word, is it good? That green's cool. A bit more, a bit more, a bit of colour interjected to it. That's what it gives it the opportunity of, which I actually I love colour. <laughs> um, yeah, you could probably argue it's, it, you know, Solomon Kane's a very dark game. Dark tones, dark theme, everything's dark. So I quite like the idea of having some some spots of colour to brighten it up. Right, okay. There's the green. And, can, and now you can start, as we start to get rid of all of the, um, all of the white, we'll start to see, um, we'll start to see how good this miniature is. And hopefully, successful paint job. That's cool. I mean, he's going to get awesome on the board. Hopefully. We'll soon find out. So, uh, I think I've got Basilicon and Grey to go next, and then something else. I'm not warping the base, am I? No. I was going to say, it's not that much pressure on that. Uh, it shouldn't do. We've um, got Snake to do. We've got Stones to do. Um, we've got... And I've missed out a big chunk of that. Hang on, sorry. Some of the grass I've just missed out. And into that, I'm hitting behind the foot. As I say, not easy to get to. All right, okay. Right, uh, da, 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 da. so next we could go into the metalwork now and then uh, do the base afterwards. I think that would make sense. So we need to stop it from looking like plastic silver. Obviously that, that does not help the situation. So what we're gonna need to do is use some basiliconum gray for the silver work. Might do a bit of a gold pistol. And I quite like the idea of a little bit of gold. Just again, splash a bit of colour on there. Uh, where's my yellow? So a bit of whoops, a yandan yellow as well. So let's start with the, the gold. I'm literally just doing a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of gold, um, just to break up this pistol here. So we're going to go gold here. And gold here. This, in fact, that, that could be a bigger bit of gold there. That'd be cool. Just like in the art, on the alternative art side. And then I think I'll do... Do, 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 do. Um, I don't want too much gold. I just want a tiny... Tiny speckle, tiny speckle of gold. I think, I think to be honest, I think that'll do. Maybe let's let's uh, let's kind of repeat that on this one here. Let's get some gold flowing on that one as well. Okay, so that's the gold done. As I said, I just wanted a touch, a touch of gold, not too much. As I try and just clean that brush. Right, let's go to the silicon and grey. This doesn't open at all. Get that brush off. And then we're basically going to go over the whole of the metal with this silicon and grey. Making sure, sure not to pull it on the sword, especially, because that wouldn't look very good. 
obviously uh, being transparent, the paint, uh, it'll let the, ooh, that might be a bit too much. It'll, it'll let the paint, uh, it'll let the metal, the metallic come through, the metallic paint come through, which of course is really, really important. Remember to move around the paint while it's wet. Okay, that's the sword done. And now the pistol. And not to go over that um, gold work that I've just done. Now this has a similar effect to uh, null oil. It's just I feel it, I just personally feel it gives a ooh, it gives a better effect. More realistic effect, I suppose, in comparison. Okay, now the buckles and bits and bobs. Don't forget the, uh, whoops, don't forget the, um, the intricate work on the sleeves that they're doing as well. And a little buckle on top of the helmet, so I can literally just go over the whole lot with that one. I think that'll be fine. <laughs> uh, the scabbard. What's next? Really giving a good coating on the top there to cover that recess with this sword drawn. Okay, uh, just getting in there because I want to get some contrast in there. Awesome. And that is the metalwork now complete. Yeah, this is looking good. This, oh, I need the silicon and grey because I need to do the base next. So let's keep going with the base. Doing the stonework now. Now, I, the, it, the vibrant colours here that we're seeing with this paint job, you may not like, and you may not want for your kind of like Solomon Kane. You might want it darker. What I recommend, I've, never, I've not tried it, but it should work, is if you get grey sear, which again, contrast paints work over, um, to contrast, uh, to contrast the prime it, your miniature, it should give a, a duller tone to all of your contrast paints. Um, Oh, that, and in fact, that's just giving me an idea. I, that might be something I actually do. Uh, so I might try a bit of grey sear because I, I think I can readily get grey sear. I cannot get, for the life of me, any more wraith bone. But I do love the vibrancy of this colour. So I probably will not do that. <laughs> I, I want to keep it 
the, this tone. Personally, I, I, I really like the vibrancy. that Wraith Bone Spray gives. And we're currently at five, one hour and five minutes of recording. So that is pretty good. If we could do a Solomon Kane in just over an hour, I'm pretty pleased with that. These bits are not easy to get to at all. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty cool though. Again, get rid of the white and uh, then your miniature will start to really come out. Mm -hmm. Snake sneeze doing. Sneaky snake. And then I'll just do around the skull and around the snake. my brush in between the legs and so forth. There we go. So it's now the um, stonework done. And just the snake left now. So snake, snake, it looks quite, this looks like uh, it's, it's a bit like Skulls and Stars, set in a kind of Scotland, somewhere like Scotland, on the moors. So probably an adder. Uh, do I want to make it really bright? Uh, probably not. Uh, I'm just going to search up Adder a minute. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Right. So black and white, really. So let's get some apothecary white in here. And you can paint snake wherever you like. You can have a poisonous red if you want. Um, I'm just going to try and stick to the to the location that I think it is, which is old Bliney. I'm just going in there with some white to start with. And then we'll do the detailing using black templar okay awesome so to be fair solomon kane is pretty much done now um i'm certainly going to show him on the turntable uh just to show the difference in fact we might go and i might go and do that now while we've got on the live stream therefore i can just post straight up to YouTube, which will be quite handy. Oh, we've got to do this. Oh, sorry. Hang on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, let's get some Blood Angels Red and make some blood pools on the ground. Um, yeah, that's what they've done. I quite like the idea of that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do for this, because uh, or else it'll be a bit too, too vibrant, is uh, put where I want the pools of blood to be. So kind of like... Um, like this, right? And then what we're going to do is to, to get that vibrancy off and make it more like a pool, we're going to get some contrast medium. I'm going to go in there with the contrast medium and just start to Start to rough off the edges, as it were. 
make it more realistic like blood would do. The beauty is the uh, blood will it's contrast paint still, so it should go to the recesses, which is quite cool. But I just want it to... Maybe that was a bit too excessive. There we go. I'm just copying it straight from the art there. Just to get some, um, again, get some color splashed on there. Uh, I think um, this is distinctly lacking in color and that's quite cool. Yep, I'm happy with that. Oh, the Saigo, <laughs> his end of his boot. Just need to do the end of his boot. So back to the Saigo Brown. If you get the toe of his boot there, his left boot, uh, that's better. Uh, maybe just a tad bit on there. Seems to have lost some off the edge there. And that. Solomon Kane finished. So let's try and get a good picture of Solomon Kane. Oh, hang on, we've got to do the base, haven't we? Um, I'm going to not do the base uh, just because I'm going to let it dry first. So let's tidy, tidy away a little bit. Chizal to send forth to a Bloody Ben, uh, the winner of season one. Okay. Oh, ah. Uh, so, uh, do, 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 give a nice backdrop. Oh, always a ton. Yeah, so, you know, I, I would certainly quite like to edit this to get it. That's kind of giving a... That's right. Okay, here we go then. So, this is... Oops. Solomon Kane now painted. So, oh, nearly. Just have to do the adder and the base and the, the ring around the base. A little bit of paint missing off the back of the gun there. Might need to touch that up behind his cloak there. Um, but that brown, that Saigal brown really coming out as we look through the skulls. And the colour on the base is really... That's what I want it to look like. I want it to, to be a bit more vibrant than perhaps some others are, uh, as we've seen it before but yeah that's looking pretty good the blood stains are cool the blood's the blood's come out well I'm, I'm quite pleased with that gives a little bit of color a little bit of foreboding but you see um behind the the cloak there that that gun's got some white still on it so that might need a little bit of a, a sort out but other than that we're looking pretty good uh it's not missed bits of paint you can see on the uh, arms and so forth that's literally just the light shining off it um, but yeah, there we go. That's Solomon Kane, the first miniature from from uh, the game by Mythic Games. And uh, the next things to think about are the virtues. For example, whoop. so this is Providence, uh, the one you play, the one you play with um, for solo mode. 
And look at the detail from that shield. Just amazing. These miniatures are just real special. I cannot wait to get playing with them. And look at the straightness of this sword. I mean, I've, I've got one which I'm a bit disappointed in, uh, that, that I'll need to get a bit of, bit of hot water on, which is Courage. She's a bit, bit on a bit of a lean, unfortunately. And look at the detail on these miniatures. So they could be next. Of course, the, uh, the other ones we need to think about are, of course, the ones that you use in every game, which is the shadows themselves. And again, I haven't decided how I'm going to paint them quite yet. I was thinking of perhaps just a um, black template for most of it, or I might go in with a, with a kind of brown or a grey. I haven't decided 100% yet. And have some kind of spiritual. So we've got the blues from the um, from from your virtues. So some kind of like they have done, like some sort of purple, maybe Magus purple, uh, to go with that. Okay, so join me next time for more painting of Solomon Kane.